so fast in New Richmond, according to neighbors who didn't evacuate until early Sunday morning. Nine on your sides, Allie Kramer is live now in New Richmond this morning. And Allie, what does it look like this morning? Good morning, Chris and Catherine. It feels kind of deserted here, sort of eerie in New Richmond. About a third of the village is underwater right now, at least in some part. But here's the good news. Despite that water rising so quickly in those overnight hours into Sunday morning, it looks like it's already starting to recede. Here's how we can tell it's all about the debris. So you can see, you know, the pavement dry here and all of this debris kind of sitting around here. But just beyond it, you're dealing with the flood water and that murky, muddy mess. But I mean, I can walk all the way into this. It's still really shallow here, but look down all the way down. Hopefully that water recedes uh, quickly for this driver who parked their car. It looks like they parked it maybe to keep it out of the flood water, but even that didn't do the trick. Take a look at some of this video that I got to shoot from Chopper 9 yesterday. The only local helicopter bringing you breaking news first. Of course, it really gave me a good idea of what that flooding looks like from high above, you know, homes abandoned, uh, people going to higher ground, of course. And again, that car submerged in the flood water. People living here say that the river flowed into the streets sooner than expected. But some of those people were actually here back in 97 when the river was four feet higher than it, it really crested this time around. And for that reason, some homes were built on taller foundations on stilts in some cases, and those homes are still dry inside. Others like Mark Ketchum, he owns an apartment building at Washington and Georgia wasn't so lucky when that water rose. Oh, real fast. I got a call three o'clock in the morning from one of my tenants saying, better get down here. The basement's filling up and they all moved their cars out. And it went from 11 o'clock to three o'clock. It just rolled right on up. So all my hope for now is that uh, it doesn't go any higher in the basement. I think my sump pumps, I got four of them down there pumping and I'm hoping that uh, they keep it at bay. You saw the hose there pumping off as much water as he could from his basement. We are out here. Uh, we've seen New Richmond police actually patrolling the area, and then we thought, where did that car go? The officer actually got out of his car, and portions of this, although the water is covering the street up to the fence line here, you can actually sort of walk around in there, and he had his flashlight out, and he was doing just that, kind of making sure everything was okay because a lot of these folks have left their homes, and so they're protecting that from looters. Coming up at 6.30, I'm going to have a live interview with an New Richmond City Manager. I'm going to stay tuned for the latest on their plans to uh, clean up. That's coming up at 630. Reporting live, Allie Kramer and on your side. Allie, thank you. A New Richmond Cafe that we showed you late last week on 9 on your side. It is still standing. This Facebook post by Front Street Cafe shows the water very close right up to the restaurant's front door. The owner says the cafe missed a bullet and hopes to reopen by the end of the week.